everybody it's your boy brody beers back at it again with another video today we're just gonna be chatting just you know sitting out here not even smoking weed smoking cigarettes just having a chat um should we talk about the future of the channel um i plan to do the gabe and brody show at least once a month once i get things going consistently um, right now it's a little hard to schedule and stuff. Gabe's got a lot of stuff going on. You know, he's in a band. He makes his own music. He's in a music group as well. So, you know, he's got like three different music to work on. But, eh. you know, I'm trying to make that happen more. I want to invite random people on there. I think that'd be fun. Mm. And then I also have an idea for a new show called The Dialectical with Brody and Caleb. If you remember our first guest, Caleb, on the podcast. Um, me and him kind of disagree on a lot politically. I've started to convince him more, but I think that'd be an interesting idea for a show. You know, kind of just two people who are friendly, but me and him can have, like, heated debates on topics, and it won't be, like, a problem. Like, it won't hurt our friendship. And I think that'd be a fun show. I also want to get, like, a more comedy group show, kind of like a radio show kind of thing, like how what kind of what Howard Stern was doing going. But I need a crew of people. Like, um... I'm not sure what I want to do with that. I might even end up merging these two shows into one large production. Maybe like the the dialectical and the Gabe and Brody show are part of a bigger umbrella, maybe the same area. But right now I got to work on, I don't really have a good place to set up a studio. I'm still living with my parents because the economy's fucked. But um, once I get that ready, um, yeah, I'm not sure what I want to do because two studios would be a little tenuous and I still... I'm not sure if I want to just throw it all into one show and then do like split that show into two different sub shows or have two completely different shows that are. But the, the issue is, I also want to do a comedy show with Caleb and possibly this chick he's messing around with. Maybe, maybe. Um, but that requires a lot of a lot of resources and three shows at once seems a little crazy. But I mean, I could do it. I don't know. What would you guys prefer? Would you prefer a comedy-focused show with Caleb or a political-focused show with Caleb? And what, like, would you prefer just me and Caleb, or do we want to get, like, I had an idea. Um, there's this one, not, this isn't the person Caleb's fucking around with, but there's this one black woman that Caleb knows, he's been staying with. It feels kind of weird to put it like that, but I think I just... I want to get other perspectives, you know what I mean? Like, um, kind of a diverse cast and crew, because I think it'd just be fun. And, I mean, it'd be harder to cancel me, you know, when I'm saying offensive shit if we've got a black woman in the crew. And I think someone that I don't know, so, like, me and Caleb have known each other only for a couple of months, but we've gotten, we know each other really well over the last couple of months. Like, gotten to know each other really well. But, I think, I like, someone that I didn't know, that, I think that would add, like, a good dynamic. Someone that I don't know as well, that's just kind of a rant. Not a random, but someone that's kind of more, less like me. Because me and Caleb are very similar people as well. So it'd kind of be, like, two me's that are just disagreeing politically. But I don't know. You know, let me know what you guys think. I also think... I want to, I'm not sure, I think I might move the shows, the Gabe Brody show and the Dialectical to their own channel and do kind of my upload story videos here, kind of vlogs and shit like that and then have them, they have their own dedicated channel just so it's a little more focused because I feel like the people who are fans of maybe me telling stories with gameplay might not be the same people who are a fan of the Dialectical or the Gabe and Brody show. And if I have different avenues for people to find it. But I kind of like right now having everything in one space because I'm a little smaller. And it allows people to find me and see that I have a variety of content. And maybe I make something that they like. But, yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you think. What do you guys like? Do you like the story videos? Do you like the um, you like the show? Do you guys like the podcast? Did anyone listen to it? I don't think so. But... Yeah, I want to do more stuff like that. Probably less smoking on screen for the podcast. That's also another thing. I, I'm doing stuff on this channel that might get me banned. Whereas I don't... For the show, I want it to be a little bit more of a serious ordeal. Because I feel like that's more... I just like that more. I want it to be a more serious ordeal, you know? And it's it also has the higher chance of success, I think. And also, it's just a project that I'm very interested in. It would suck if it got deleted because I'm doing stupid shit on my YouTube channel, right? That's how I feel anyway. 
But, um... Yeah, I have another idea for a video. I want to go on a plane, take a bunch of mushrooms, and then jump out of the plane. I don't know about that, but I'm looking into that. Skydiving's not cheap, though, so it'd be super expensive. But it would be... It'd be fun. And it'd be a cool video. I think that might get, like, that'd be a good... I might blow up, you know what I mean? That's a good... I would Like, I would click on that. S mushrooms and skydiving? What? I've been taking a lot of mushrooms lately. Like, I did, like, seven grams at once the other night. And it was fucking crazy. But I feel like... I'm starting to build a tolerance, so I'm probably gonna start doing them a little bit less. And, I mean, I've just been doing a lot. It's not good for you to constantly eat psilocybin mushrooms. I mean, I wouldn't say I've been doing it, like, like daily or anything, but, like... Maybe once a week, I'm like, let's dose up, eat an eighth, and four grams. Like, the other day, I ate, like, four grams at once. I mean, that was, and it's fun, but also going through a lot of shit, and I think that helps a little bit. Not gonna lie, it kind of helped me sort it out in my brain. The seven grams was intense, but honestly, not as intense as I thought. It's kind of weird. They were golden teachers, so they weren't, like, you know, penis envy or anything, but... Mm. I ate all seven at once, raw. And, um, yeah, I think that's why I think I, that's why I think I'm starting to have a tolerance though, because when I did, it kind of felt very similar to when I ate four grams and the four grams almost kind of felt more intense. So I feel like I'm starting to get a little bit of a tolerance to shrooms, which is, I've never had that before. I didn't. So when I was younger, I was super into acid. Like I loved acid. That's why a bunch of my stories on my YouTube are acid stories. I don't have a lot of crazy mushroom stories because up until the last couple months, I didn't, not really last couple months, but. I hadn't done mushrooms a lot of time. Yeah, the last couple months, honestly, I hadn't done mushrooms a lot of time. Like, only a handful. Because I just... As it's cheaper, and I feel like you get more bang for your buck, too. Like, you spend $10, you're going to be tripping for, like, 12 hours. You know, it's a good time. It's a good time. Whereas with shrooms, you gotta, you gotta go. But at the same time, I kind of like the less intense experience. A little more chill and laid back. But, um... I'm gonna let you guys go. I gotta get out of here. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Like and subscribe to the video, I mean the channel, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, or go check out my other videos, peace.